Take it away, sir. Yes, my name is Dr. Thomas Lucky. I am an internal medicine physician. Uh, I graduated from University of Mississippi School of Medicine, went to University of Tennessee at Chattanooga as far as my residency is concerned. I've been in the medical arena for about 28 years. Uh, I have been doing sort of alternative holistic integrative medicine for the past 22 years. And uh, I have been involved and in, heavily involved in frequency-based medicine for the past 20 years. And so I've studied the different wavelengths uh, uh, from the electromagnetic spectrum, about every one of them, including scalar wave technology. Uh, and it's sort of been my specialty over the years uh, doing this. And uh, so I found out this information uh, really by uh, uh, a text and uh, I wanted the machine immediately and I decided well, I've got to find out where I can get this immediately. And so this is where I got in contact with uh, uh, Daniel and uh, he was able to get me the machine. And uh, so I've had this uh, device for about uh, three weeks actually, and have seen amazing results here in the clinic with it. Uh, and uh, so, so this is where I am uh, with the technology. And, uh, and so, Trying to figure out what to do with this. Got it. Yes. If you're not sharing, please mute because we don't want to have any background and noise and we want to have a clear call. So um, if you've got a firsthand testimony, can you please raise your hand and we'll get started? Uh, and um, Dr. Lucky, your team is growing very fast and um, I am doing the best I can to stay on top of who's got inventory and keep everybody alerted and and the, who's, who's responsive uh, as far as the distributors go so we can cut down on the waiting time that we've experienced and uh, when the surge for demand for these machines went through the roof uh, and so if you've got a testimony you want to share, can you please raise your hand? And that's it. Okay, Lori. Okay, there we go. I got it unmuted. <laughs> um, yeah, I would love to share my testimony. I'm trying to start my video here. Um, okay, there we go. Hi. <laughs> Um, I've only been using the device for about probably a couple of weeks, might be going on three, but it's right around a couple of weeks. And, um, I'm amazed because, um, I have a few areas of concern. Um, I, I noticed my varicose veins are getting lighter and they're fading. Um, I also, um, noticed that the sense of well being and mental clarity from using the device as well as drinking the water has been amazing. I could feel it from the first time I drank the water. I could just feel like everything hydrated. My brain got hydrated. And um, the other thing that I've noticed is I had a, I have a lump in my breast and um, it has considerably gotten smaller. So I'm excited. <laughs> Power, powerful testimony. And uh, thank you for sharing that, Lori. Um, and uh, Let's see. Anybody else is ready for a firsthand testimony, please? We have to keep it to firsthand. Um, and oh, Dr. Thomas, I didn't realize that you had such a deep background in uh, frequencies. And uh, this is uh, amazing how it, it can be applied to the wellness and heating up the bone marrow. And I'm learning more and more every single day. And um, so I'm hoping that I can share last. So I'm really looking forward to people that can share their testimony and I'll go last because uh, well, one thing, wanna, go ahead. One thing uh, that I know is I'm very sensitive to electromagnetic energy because I've been doing this, like I said, for 18 years. I've got about every device under the sun from scalar technology to uh, just regular infrared 
uh, and far infrared technology and pulse electromagnetic frequency devices uh, out the wazoo. But the issue here is uh, this is an interlap in between far infrared heat. And so there's a, a gap between the microwave frequencies, which is the unhealthy 5G, uh, 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 very long millimeter waves, and then the micron waves, the micrometer waves. So you're looking at, uh, if you look at the far infrared spectrum, it's between four microns and about 14 microns. And this is between basically 30 millimeters on one end and uh, 300 microns on the other end. So there's an interlap between the two. So this is like having a far infrared scanner or uh, on your body. Uh, and, and I saw so many results with that. It was incredible in my office, just far infrared heat uh, when it's about 99%. So it's heating up the bone marrow and it's actually creating light. This is just light frequency. Everything is light. You are light. And you have uh, the body that heals from the inside outside. So when you provide these frequencies, whether it be far infrared, which uh, interlaps with this uh, technology here with the terahertz technology, uh, that there is a healing that goes on from the inside out. And that's what you want to do. A lot of things heal from the outside in and we get sick from the outside in, but we heal from the inside out. And uh, so when I got involved with this, uh, I'm actually just drinking the water because it's so powerful, the terahertz frequency water that I can only drink about eight ounces of it in the morning. And I tried yesterday to drink uh, twice, uh, uh, eight ounces and eight ounces again. And I was up at 1.30 this morning and asked my wife, what in the world? Uh, let's see. I need to mute somebody here. Uh, okay, sorry. Go ahead, Dr. Tom. Well, lost Dr. I'm, Tom. What I'm doing. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, can I ask you a question from one of my um, YouTube subscribers? Mm -hmm. The terahertz water, it's changing the water molecules. Is And uh, I don't know the science behind it, but my wife says it's a sweet. Well, I can't say that. <laughs> it's the sweetest tasting water we have ever drank. And it's a noticeable because we use a distilled water machine and then we add in some uh, sea salt back in to give mm -hmm. some mineral balance back into the water. And so a man asked me about what is happening when your gut has a very acidic pH and then that water I do have one of those Milwaukee ORP meters and I need to calibrate it and then test the water after I've treated it with the device. We treat it with our classic machine because my holder, it's just the, the pro machine is a little bit heavier, but that's a good problem to have. <laughs> right. Anyway, can, can you talk about that for a, a second about what happens when we put that terahertz water in? Well, everything... Yeah. Everything uh, vibrates at a frequency. It doesn't matter if it's your thoughts, color, sound. Uh, it's whatever that we're associated. We are energy beings. And uh, I call myself 80% of our, our being is spiritual, which is light. It goes back to the light frequency. Well, our water, which we're about 70, 75% water in content, it has the same wavelength of about 6.27 microns. So what we're talking about with the terahertz frequencies that you're having to meet that frequency level and it causes a vibration of that, of that water, which causes it to align. So when you align water, you increase the ability to absorb things, your nutrients improve, your supplements, and you have to be careful sometimes with people on medicines because you'll see they don't need as much medicine. I'm already seeing this as a fact right now. Uh, with blood sugar. 
So when you're actually uh, using this, this phenomenon here is that I have noticed the same thing. Uh, the water, after a couple hours or so, starts taking on a different taste. I've never have had that happen with any other water in my entire life. And I really believe it's because of the microclusters that are being bursted. And this allows it to have the linear transformation. So uh, it sort of breaks the angle. You have uh, an angle, I think it's like 109 degrees or so, of the water molecule itself. So when you break this angle, then you allow things to not adhere and cluster up and things become more in linear fashion. And, and when you change the dynamics of things, uh, this is just my opinion about things, you also change the characteristics of it. Uh, I've noticed with scalar energy, see I use scalar energy a lot of times, is the, the I'll put it in the refrigerator and I'll put uh, one scalar energy water and I'll put it in the same type mason jar, just buy two mason jars there. And I put them along each other and you'll find out that one will freeze and the jar will just completely break in about 24 hours in the freezer. The other one won't break at all, actually. It's no evidence and you'll see the structure. You also notice that there's a lot of bubbling that goes on with these water. So it's like a phenomenon we use with hydrogen water. You see a lot of bubbles, uh, micro bubbles associated with this. And my wife was pointing out because the other day I forgot which my water was uh, terahertz uh, uh, charged. And she said, well, this one has bubbles and this one doesn't. I said, well, that explains it right there. So I went ahead and drank the one that had the bubbles in it. Uh, after many hours, so the bubbles should have already been gone. Uh, so it's definitely changing the characteristics of the water. And uh, so I don't really have an answer. I have an answer for everything. I don't know if it's right. I don't know if anybody's even looked into this, actually, to be honest with you. But uh, that's my best opinion about it. Yeah, and um, I, as soon as I can get my grass cut, I will calibrate that ORP meter. And then I can show this is what our distilled water our watershed is the Mount St. Helens, Washington, uh, Kalama River. Uh, and so it's coming out of the Cascade Mountains. Um, and then I distill it. And so what I'll do is I'll calibrate that Milwaukee ORP meter and I'll get the pH level of that distilled water. I, I use some of this pH hydron paper and it shows you a range of six to eight, but I don't know how accurate that is. That's why I got right. that ORP meter. So yes. anyway, so that's what I can be also good. do. That. I can also do that myself. I have the ORP meters and looking at the redox potential. That's what you're looking at. And then how are the negative value associated with usually the most alkaline is associated when it's acid or oxidized. That's the other way. So uh, you might be able to see the difference, and that would be something pretty special if you could actually, you know, uh, show that uh, yeah. is being changed. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get on that. If anybody that's joined the call have a firsthand testimonial, please raise your hand. Okay, don't have any takers yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. I got this machine. Uh, I, I had my sponsor who's over here in the Portland, Oregon area, not far from here, about 45 minutes away. He emailed me right at the first of the year. And I was busy working on a uh, wellness company in, in a different part of the body kind of thing. And I said, oh, that's interesting, but I didn't look at it for the second time. And then I went by his house because I was in that area and he gave me a classic blower and he says, why don't you take this home? Because I've known this man a long time. And he said, take this home and try it. And the very first day I had that same effect about the water, Dr. Lucky. And so um, then I started running the machine on my knee 
And then the very next day, I signed up my wife as a gold. Well, I signed up first, and then I signed up my wife as a gold because I said, these things are going to sell like hotcakes when people start hearing about the water, when they um, hear about uh, what it can do for inflammation in the body. And, and so anyway, I also want to throw this in there, uh, my personal testimony. I feel like I've dialed the clock back about 30 years. I just hit uh, my middle 60s, um, the low end of the middle 60s. <laughs> and uh, I feel like... Um, I've got the energy like I did when I was in my 30s. The, I've got chronic arthritis from tearing up my knee in the Air Force. I'm sorry, my phone goes all day long. I apologize. And um, the, uh, the knee arthritis started like back in the late 70s, early 80s. And I've used some black cumin seed oil, which does help reduce inflammation. However, um, it's that pain is still there. I started running the machine on high heat. And then I heard Dr. Cochran talk about any part of your body that has inflammation, run your machine without the heat and just run it in a circular motion around your uh, area. So I started doing that. And I can get out here and, and mow the grass on two acres. I got to push electric mower. So I have to stop every now and then and let those batteries <laughs> recharge. But we got long, you, Dr. Lucky, you were just out here in Washington. We got real long days right now. So I can cut the grass till after midnight Eastern time. So anyway, <laughs> really grateful. And that's the big thing is that reduction in that inflammation. And then the other thing I noticed when I got the pro device, uh, it has a higher terahertz frequency. I have chronic uh, liver problems and I run the machine over my liver area on the pro device. I was running the classic, uh, but I had to keep it about that far off of my liver, maybe about eight to 10 inches off of my liver because that heat's pretty high. And then I got the pro and oh, but the classic did this for me. I had to have a procedure done and they got blood products for me in case I needed it because I've got chronic uh, liver problem. And in case I was having coagulation problems I, during that procedure, the surgeon has some extra blood on hand. And he said, oh, you sailed right through it. You didn't need any extra blood products. And that's a part, and that was the classic blower. And then the last thing I'll share is um, when I got the pro, I noticed that my endorphins, my serotonin level, and my blood pumping through my brain is just, the, the energy is just shot way up. And I think that's all direct result of my liver regenerating. And it is a marvelous organism. The part that's not damaged, because I do have cirrhosis from a long, long time ago, the part of the liver that's not damaged can keep regenerating from what I understand, Dr. Lucky. So I, I, I could just sit here all day and talk about what this machine's done. I'm, I'm so it's a blessing from uh, the higher powers. So thank you. The, the the potential of it is absolutely incredible because you generate stem cells and your stem cells, regardless of what the doctors say, whether things can be regenerated, the body has capability to regenerate in every organ in the entire body, including the central nervous system. We used to not think the central nervous system was any hope for it. It was just static uh, and it was over pretty much uh if you had damage to it but no longer the it's been proven that you can regenerate the whole entire body uh so uh you can use this to generate your stem cells and i've been seeing uh just in this short little period of time uh people with blood sugar problems uh and i like to stay away from labels of things but uh, blood sugar problems and blood pressure problems uh i see tremendous changes in people's blood pressures uh, as well as blood sugars, especially if they're on medications already and everything is just static as far as the amount that they're taking. They have to be real careful uh, and, and not be, uh, you know, 
in denial of things uh, by not watching these things. You have to make sure your blood sugar is being uh, looked at, your, your uh, blood pressure. I had one gentleman that had a blood sugar. He told me never less than 170, 180 ever, even with medication. And uh, now his blood sugar is running 110 and, uh, and, and no higher than 110, 120. And he has only did this three or four times in the first place in the past month. So uh, it, you have to be really, really careful when you take medications uh, because you're making the body uh, not have to use as much energy resources when you give the body what it needs. This is what it's all about. It's giving the body what it needs. And this allows your cells to uh, become more in the normal fashion because it's working with your body instead of against your body. So when you work with your body, you don't need as much of the other medical uh, therapy. And essentially I look at it as uh, uh, you don't hardly need a massage therapist anymore or a chiropractor or even a medical doctor half the time. Uh, you're just gonna have to look and see how far this can truly take you because I think it's unlimited what this can do for a person's health. And, uh, and I'm just saying, I mean, I could just tell you things like I said, uh, of people that personally come to see me that medically I think are pretty much impossible in the past three weeks. And so quick too. Usually the people have the effects like uh, the same day. In incredible, incredible. Uh, Mr. Valenti, you have a question uh, uh, about the water? Uh, yes. Um, well, after you charge the water, is it okay to put it in a plastic container? What's the deal with the plastic? You're afraid it's going to melt, right? That's the whole thing. Or oh, it has to be glass. The quality, would it, would it affect the quality after you charge the water and you put it in a plastic container? Do you want to take that, Dr. Lucky? Well, I don't put anything in plastic containers. Uh, plastic containers, as far as I'm concerned, are extremely dangerous. Uh, and uh, especially if they're not of the uh, hardened type plastics. Uh, I mean, these, <laughs> especially, you know, you get these water bottles that you get in the store that's put in severe heat, all these chemicals, like thousands of chemicals leaches out into the, uh, you know, the water and you're drinking these uh, parabens and you're drinking these benzene-like benzene molecules and and all the all the different components that they put into making plastics, these things leach out. And so I don't use plastics at all for anything. Uh, it's a glass. I use mason jars is what I use uh, to do the water. Uh, and usually I do it directly on the water, even though, you know, with this technology, they say is, you know, it works up to about 30 centimeters in, 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 in depth. So uh, I just I just do it over the water itself and in a mason jar, uh, and uh, so heating up plastic would be extremely dangerous in the first place. But just just being plastic is enough to stay away from that. No, oh, I, I, I agree with that. Up a lot of plastics. <laughs> I, I agree with that because sometimes I want to I want to take it to the gym. I only have a plastic container. I figured I'll charge it. I don't it think, in glass. I don't think, I think, I don't charge think it, it in glass. <laughs> what? I don't think it would kill you to do that. I mean, just to, no. I, mean, just, I mean, it would be better to drink it in plastic than it would not to drink it. <laughs> right, right. So I figured I'll charge it in glass and then transport it. Yeah. It's not going to be in the plastic for that long. Right, right, right. There's a lot of plastics that we're supposed to. Like yeah, said, I try to stay away from the plastic. I mean, that's really dangerous to your cell membranes uh, yeah, throughout your body. Yeah. Uh, my wife and I noticed in Ikea in Portland, Oregon uh, last week that they do have glass containers. I mean, the mason jars that Dr. Lucky was talking about, too. Uh, and we went to a uh, Fred Meyer is owned by the big Kro Kroger chain. Um, they have in the, the garden, a lawn and garden area, kind of where you're getting into the outdoor things. They have a big two gallon glass container and that's what we're using. And 
you can find those online. Anybody have, uh, we've got about five more minutes. Does anybody have a testimony that they'd like to share before we close? Just raise your hand. I'll unmute you. We look in the gallery here. Dr. Sharneal, have you got anything you could share with us? Oh my. I don't even have, have the product yet. So we're working okay. on it. Okay. Glad you're here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any last uh, closing thoughts then, Dr. Lucky? Uh, this is exciting. Well, as uh, I believe the qualifications of uh, having this device is if you're breathing, uh, if you have a pulse and you have cells, that's the qualifications of it, essentially, because uh, it doesn't really matter about what kind of label that someone puts on you or that's all medical terminology and health has nothing to do with medical terminology. It has to do with the spiritual nature of a person, uh, the uh, physical nature and the makeup of what god has put into the earth for us to partake of and uh and so when you actually have all those there's unlimited potential when you put something that's totally natural in your body to your immune system to your body that you can feel instantaneously the first treatment i mean it's it's really incredible if you would call this treatment i, I don't like calling it treatment either uh, but just just to blow on a particular joint or, or, or whatever the medical problem is, actually. And uh, like I've seen already in this short period of time of probably dealing with like 10 people, I've already seen half of what people have actually uh, already have talked about in testimonies previously. I even saw today a lady that had very close veins and I actually did. Uh, five minutes on her ankle, not even looking at the very close veins. She was swelling her legs bilateral because she's got congestive heart failure and on medication that promotes that. But I saw those very close veins, so I just sort of focus in on those very close veins. And by the time I got it finished, not only that side, the very close veins were 80% better, but the other side that I didn't even treat on the other ankle was the same way and she noticed she said come on over here too and she was so excited i'm like wow that's so simple but just so quick every day i'm seeing something that's absolutely amazing because you you can't see that in the medical field they do this vein stripping and this painful process and and uh, here things are actually being dealt with in a matter of minutes and you know 10, 15 minutes of things you just don't see in the medical field. Uh, even what I have done, which I've done everything in the world uh, as far as uh, natural type medicine is concerned, from supplements to all the different technologies that I have here, uh, uh, I've not seen anything quite like this in my entire life. Uh, I'd say right now I've had probably 90% of the people that actually that I have dealt with, and I see very ill people. I don't see healthy people. My, my population is usually stage three, stage four malignancies, and people have horrible autoimmune diseases that uh, no one can deal with. Uh, people that come in in beds and, and that type of things that they're given no hope whatsoever, because I look at things from a spiritual perspective to begin with. Uh, and uh, in, in dealing with that spiritual aspect in people, because that really can heal regardless of what machines you use. But now this is technology you can add to the toolbox here and you can do this at home. That's what's so beautiful about this is you can an 80 year old can blow a hairdryer on their joints. I mean, it's incredible, actually. What a tool. What a blessing. And we got to keep this blessing you know, available, you know, and uh, but we're going to see great things with this. I, I agree, Dr. Lucky. Thank you for your time today. I'll post this up on the Telegram customer group. And I want to just share one lady. She must have been in her early 80s, but she called me from Colorado and said, I want one of those machines. 
And I want you to sign up my son underneath me right away. <laughs> and she was a fireball. I can't wait to see what happens when she gets her machine. So anyway, thank you for your time, everybody, and appreciate it. I'll put the link up on um, the Telegram group. Bye for now, everyone. Bye-bye.